Oh no. Yeah, this thing's gonna die. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we're going to tame up a phoenix. I finally got my mod working. I think I was just being impatient after the dino wipes and didn't realize it just took a while for some phoenixes to spawn in. So I finally got some spawned in here. And well, one of them is a 150. Now I have already checked their stats. They got a good stamina and they got a really good melee. I think it was 36 if I'm remembering. All I remember is that it was above 30 and I'm absolutely certain it's 36. Also, before we run off and leave the base here, we do got our thorax spider that we bred up. And I do have her fully leveled now. Now all we need for her is a name. I did have one already in mind, but I figured that I'd actually want you guys to name it. Seems that we are now getting a lot more uh, views on the videos, it actually seems like me asking you guys. We get them, so yeah. Anyways, please do drop a name for our little spider here. We did manage to get a nice green on the back, and we got the white, and then we got a black. And I, I mean, they turned out really good. Alright, I really like how the thorax spider turned out, or the jumping spider, sorry. This is the jumping spider, but it's it's named the thorax spider. So yeah, anyways, we're going to hop on Azula here. I already got everything I need for today, or no I don't, no I don't. Because I haven't dropped all the stuff off either. I just grabbed all the metal structures I needed out of my fabricator, and I also forgot to go grab me some more cryopods. Okay, so, got my water... Got my phoenix marked. Now, I do realize that right now it is... Is this an electric... I think it's just a dust storm. It might be an electrical storm. It is an electrical storm. So, I do realize that it's not a heat wave. That the phoenix is not going to be there when I get there. But, what it is going to be able to do is put this phoenix in a trap. Also, I need to start talking in proper English. So, what I'm going to be able to do here is put this phoenix in a trap and then we can hopefully properly just do this without you know injuring the phoenix too much but i'm hoping that azula's damage it doesn't like fry it you know or like you know damage it too much i don't think it should take fire damage i think it should just like take a uh, taming so okay we are here this is where the phoenix should be once well, once the heat wave is arriving so the way that we're going to want to do this is what you want to do is get that lined up perfectly within the middle of that and then boom we'll go over like that now you want two walls up if i'm correct and then the phoenix should pop out directly above that high so it'll pop up in the box and then the rest of our ceilings we want Ooh, that's that's wrong, but yeah, here, that actually might help me with this. So now what we got to do is kind of a uh, landing strip it with the, f with my fastest Phoenix ever. Um, I might not have to landing strip it. Uh, I think the trap design that I'm trying to follow was originally meant for you to stand up there with a flamethrower. Oh, you know what? We'll keep it that way, because that, that gives me the ability to quite literally just, you know, hop off the wyvern and then we're up here. Also, 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 that that's why I had an extra roof. Boom, and then boom, boom. So yeah, now all I have to do is wait for a heat wave. So... I think we're about to get a heat wave. If I'm recalling, that's what the Jeroboa's uh, sound is for a heat wave. Um, and as well, something appeared to have happened with the Phoenix. It moved. So originally it was like on the other side of this rock. And now it's down here on this side of the rock. So I don't know if my trap's going to work. I mean, for all I know, this thing's going to pop up just anywhere. Because it was originally here, and then I moved my trap. Now watch it spawn back up over here out of my trap. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay, the heat wave just began. Um, Where's my phoenix going to pop up at? Is he in there? Yes! He's in. She's in. She's in. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is hop on Azula here and... 
Is that working? That's not what I want to track. I want to track the fire wyvern. There we go. Now... Am I able to hit that? I'm not able to hit that. Ooh, this might be a little tricky. I might have to run back to the base and grab a flamethrower. I have one, but it's not even good. It's just a regular flamethrower. I don't know if it would work. I don't know. I got to. At this point, I have to because it's the only chance I got. I think a heat wave lasts 10 minutes? Might be shorter. So there is something that has occurred to me on my flight back. And that is the phoenix could have popped out while loading back in. Has he? Is he still in the trap? Yes, he is. Okay. She is. Sorry, I keep on doing that. And I know some people get picky about that. Do I not? Did I not grab the flamethrower? The heat wave is so going to end on me here. I know it. It's going to end on me like right as I get going. He's going to get halfway. And then boom. Heat wave over. I know it. I've just. It's just because I've forgotten so much. Like, I, I didn't think that I would... I thought I would be able to hit them while he was in this trap with Azula, and I'm not. And are you still tra... I'd like to have you tracked, please. Oh, no. Yeah, this thing's gonna die. Okay, let's land. I got to think of something here. Maybe I can... That's working. And it's stuck, I think. Can I do this? No, no, taking in progress. Did I unmark it? Yeah, I did. So what I really need to do, because this is what's bugging me, that's what I needed to do. Also, what is your taming effectiveness at? Oh, it's going down. It's probably because all my breaks in between. But you're taming. That's the nice part. And you're getting a lot more than that damn flamethrower was ever doing. Maybe that's the way to do the trap, is leave the bottom broken out. So that way you can keep breathing fire into it. And then kind of try and push it. Well, maybe leave the ceiling there so that way it gets caught. Then when you're ready to start, remove the bottom and start breathing fire. You didn't get quite what I wanted in stats, did you? Oh my god, though. Um, Maybe you did. If I can get a male... Hold up. If I can get a male <laughs> wyvern... Why, why are you just like popping? Like, no, thank you. If I can get a male wyvern with... Not wyvern... If I can get a male phoenix with some stamina and some bougie, like, not bougie, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Some just damn good health. Like, we would have a perfect phoenix. Also, I just realized I gotta go craft me another ceiling so that way I can remake the trap. And that's if I get lucky and have another phoenix spawn in anytime soon. I don't think I will, though. These things took so long for me just to get the one. What we might do here is we might just go try and like test fly this one. Because I haven't got to play with the Phoenix yet in Park Survival Ascended. That's the one thing I haven't got to do. Let's, uh, let's dismiss that because that's going to annoy me. I'm surprised it didn't auto dismiss. Okay, we back at base. Boom. Here we go. So... 
Now the mod I'm using here that breeds them says that they drop eggs that should be about the equivalent of an Argentavis. No, I'm not. I hope that's also like for farming wise. If uh, I'm getting Phoenix eggs on the ground, I'm going to try and see what kind of kibble that they make. I'm actually going to even do that with the thorax spiders because they were dropping eggs. They were just dropping like unfertilized eggs. So I might see if I can use them for my kibble farm. So what I'm actually like legit, all I need for my kibble farm right now is two creatures. So what I need, if I'm remembering correctly, because what it goes is it's extra small. The, the vultures I'm using for extra small. Moralitops are small eggs. Thorny dragons are medium eggs. Now, I need large age. Blech. Damn. So now what I need for my egg farms is large eggs, which I'm hoping that's what one of those, the phoenixes, or even maybe the jumping spiders I can use for that. And then I need extra large eggs, which extra large eggs are like gigas, quetzals, wet, rexes. I almost said wexes. Wexes. I can't pronounce my alls today for some reason. Bronto eggs, and of course, the surprising one on here, Therizino eggs. So those are the ones that we're most likely going to be using for the farm. Unless something, like one of my modded creatures. I don't think I have a decent sized modded creature I can use. No, because they're not in the game. I was about to say, I could use Concavenators. They're not in uh, Ark Survival Ascended yet. They are in Ark Survival Evolved, and I'm pretty sure that they have large eggs. I might be wrong. They might be medium. Don't count me on that. Okay, I don't know why I did this to myself. I bothered to Google something I probably shouldn't have. And that is, what are the Fasilosuchus' eggs? Guess what the Fasilosuchus eggs are? They're the large eggs. So, yeah, we're not going to be using Fasilosuchus's so okay so let's take this phoenix out for a little bit of a test drive blaze target burning How, what is that now let's actually leave that on i don't know what that does exactly so we're gonna uh we're gonna take to the skies also this thing <laughs> oh you know what it's wait does it have that ability no so i was my old mod for breedable phoenixes gave them an over oh it does Okay, so if you hold space, they do go into over, like, jet mode. That's awesome. So we got fighter jet mode. So also, if I read everything correctly, the more imprinted it is, the faster it should move. Or that might have been my other Phoenix mod. I actually got to go pull everything up for this one real quick, just because I don't want to give you guys false info. Okay, so if I've read everything correctly, this thing should just be exactly like basic phoenix except it's breedable that is the only difference now it does not replace them also right click is fireball left click is bite fireball seems to be off by a bit there we go direct hit and it seems like when it's left left leaves a direct hit it's like a inferno damn and you got the bite so C is grab. Can I pick things up with? Or is that an attack? That's definitely a grab um, of some kind. Also, what is your stamina at? Why are you gaining it back instantly? Like, no, like his stamina, he's gaining it in flight, I swear. He's not losing any. I don't know why he's not losing any. He's losing food, but he's not losing stamina. Is he just gaining it in flight and barely uses any? That might be it. Maybe that's what they were telling me about the phoenix being brokey. His stamina just... See, it's draining, but it also regens in the air. Or is that from the mod? It might be something else somebody was telling me that was brokey with the stamina. Hold up, I actually got their DM. Oh yeah, no, it says that their their landing animation is a little buggy. 
Okay, that's the only thing that I have that says anything busted with the phoenix. So I'm taking it that the stamina regen in the air is just because he's a phoenix and that's, I don't know. I thought that's how you used to lose the phoenix was that you couldn't, uh, it couldn't regain stamina. So once it was out, of, also there's a sandstorm coming. Once it ran out of stamina, it just died. So anyways, before this sandstorm hits, I'm going to do my outro. So anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to run out. To, I'm going to try and outrun the sandstorm. And remember to ring that notification bell. Also, uh, I am currently trying to run a members goal and a sub goal. So for the members goal, we're trying to reach 10 YouTube channel members. And yeah, once we hit that goal of 10 members, the sandstorm has hit me. Once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to play on. Also, for the membership, or not the membership goal, the sub goal, we are currently trying to reach 10,000 subs this year. So, if it would be really appreciated if you guys helped us along with that goal. So, anyways, it's been Gunshot Moray, signing off. Peace.